Good evening, everybody. We've got about another 24 hours before things really start to get going, so you do have some time to get some things done. It's quiet out there right now in Grand Rapids. And the weather headlines, mild with some showers overnight and through the day tomorrow. No big deal there, but weekend rain, significant icing event, snow and wind are going to all be in play here. And again, significant event, a high impact event with power outages that could potentially last for days. After I finish this forecast, you'll probably understand why. Nothing on radar out there right now. I think a lot of the overnight hours may in fact be dry, but I can't rule out a few light showers or a little bit of drizzle. Look at our temperatures. What is this? June, uh, June, excuse me. January 9th, and look at how warm these numbers are. Upper 40s to around the 50 degree mark. Frankly, most lows tonight won't fall below about probably 42 to 45 degrees. This wedge of warmer air is going to push in here through the day. Tomorrow, a lot of moisture is going to come up a thousand miles from the south in the Gulf of Mexico, and that's going to clash with this colder air right over our area. And that's where I think this is shaping up to be a significant icing event for a lot of our area. And that's my biggest concern here. As we look at clouds and radar movement over the last several hours. Snow moving into Canada. There's some precip down here, but there's another low that's going to form and come up with a slug of moisture. It's an unprecedented amount of moisture for this time of the year. When we're talking all the rain, the snow, the sleet, the ice, and you melt it down, we have two to four inches of precipitation. That's a lot. I would expect that from summer storms, but this time of the year, that's almost historic proportion there, folks. Uh, so again, I say that to quantify how big this event could potentially be. Cloudy mile, a few showers tomorrow. Temperatures about 45 to 50 degrees across our southern counties. No problem there. Here's what the weather map looks like. Cold front's going to be cutting through the area tomorrow, and uh, you can see there may be a few showers around here, especially from Grand Rapids uh, down to the south. This is at six. PM. Now watch what happens as we go into the midnight hour. I'm now going to go through six hour increments because I want you to be on the exact same page I am so you understand how we think this event is going to unfold. At midnight tomorrow, all this green, the yellow, the orange that you see, yeah, that's all rain. And a lot of it is heavy rain as that slug of moisture comes up from the Gulf of Mexico. Anything you see in pink, that's the ice, the freezing rain and the sleet. And of course, the blue is snow. So at midnight, frankly, most of us are seeing heavy rain as we go through and into Saturday morning at 6 a.m. I think from Grand Rapids southward, we're still probably seeing some pretty heavy rain, but you could already see the changeover just north of GR with that freezing rain and that sleet as we go to Saturday at noon. All of us are now seeing the pink. Most of the rain looks like it may be out of here. We're talking freezing rain and ice and some sleet there with some snow just to the north of Grand Rapids. As we go Saturday around the dinner hour at 6 p.m., look at the heavy snow across our northern counties. That's still freezing rain, sleet, and ice going on uh, from Grand Rapids down to the south. There's the low pressure area. And at midnight, Saturday night into Sunday morning, that's still freezing rain and ice. Look at the heavy snow across our northern counties. That low moves into Canada. By the the time we get into Sunday, there might be a little bit left over, but the bulk of the moisture is out of here. This is the long duration event. We have a winter storm watches that are posted for us as we get into tomorrow night, and it goes all the way into Sunday morning. So that is it. Uh, that's the, all the counties except the ones that border uh, the Michigan Indiana state line there because they think there'll be less ice there. So they have not issued anything. The next likely thing to happen here, these will be upgraded either to winter weather advisories, ice storm warnings or winter storm warnings. And we'll probably see that happen tomorrow. But again, they don't start and go into effect until we get into uh, tomorrow night, I think at 10 p.m. Here's how we think it will shake out, folks. Our extreme southern counties down there in in green, mainly an all rain event, probably about two to four inches of rain likely. There's going to be some flooding problems there. That first light pink is going to be a lot of rain, but in addition to that, we also believe there'll be some freezing rain and sleet in there as well. Probably anywhere from a quarter of an inch to up to a half an inch of ice accumulation there. This is the problem area though, because we believe a lot of our viewing area in that dark area of pink is going to see a lot of rain. And then into Saturday morning, it begins to mix with and change over to freeze rain and sleet and stay that way throughout all of Saturday. We believe anywhere from a half inch to one inch or more 
of uh, ice accretion and ice accumulation will be possible. And on the back side of that, between the sleet and the snow, they're probably going to be about two to four inches of that as well. So this is the most detrimental part of it right here. We believe with that kind of ice accumulation, uh, Roger Morgenstern just told me from consumers that even a quarter of an inch of ice would be detrimental. You can imagine if we start talking about a half inch, three quarters of an inch, an inch of ice, then you put 20 to 30 mile per hour winds on that would gust to 40 to 50. That's a recipe for long-term power outages, so the potential for disaster is certainly there. And then as we go to our northern counties, they might see some rain, might be a little bit of freezing rain and sleet, but a lot of this area up here, Oceana, northern Nuego, and northern Macosta, look mainly snow, four to six inches or more up there. Could that go either way? Absolutely. It could shimmy a little bit by maybe 10, 15, 20 miles, but that's the way it looks right now. 46 degrees there tomorrow, no problem there, but it's Friday night all the way through Saturday with the wind and the icy mix. 29 degrees there on Saturday, 32 on Sunday. That begins to wrap up, still breezy on Sunday. And then by the time we get into next week, you can see we're about 35 to 40 degrees with maybe some more light rain or snow chances coming in. If you want to look back at anything I just talked about, including the graphics, that is our lead story right now. If you go to fox17online.com, you can see everything we just talked about, including the graphics there. Derek.